Hi everyone, I'm Christine from Readerly Musings and today I'm going to be filming a book review about Confessions of a Hater by Caprice Crane. I just finished filming my very first video book review which was about Charlotte's Web by Evie White and I will link to it in the description video and that is also why I am wearing the same shirt. This is actually the third video I have filmed today. I do not know if I'm going to be uploading them on the same day or not but just in case you're wondering. <laughs> anyway, back to the review. Uh, this is Confessions of a Hater by Caprice Crane. I read this back in either December or January. I can't quite remember at the moment. But I rated this 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I previously read another book by Caprice Crane, an adult book called... Um, I think it was Forget About It. I will link to it below in the description, just in case I'm wrong. And that was an adult book about a girl who um, faked having amnesia because she did not like the way her life was going and she was in a bit of an accident. So it was somewhat realistic in that aspect for her to potentially have amnesia. Um, this book is her YA novel and it was a very fast read. Um, I really like that about it. It's about a girl who moves to a new state. She moves from New York to Hollywood, so she's completely moving, she's moved completely across the country with her family, with her parents. Her older sister is in college, and she knows no one at the school. But before she leaves New York, when they're packing up their things, she finds a diary written by her sister, which is how to be a hater and it's got all this different advice such as how to wear your hair, things to do, things not to do so that you can be among the most popular kids in school. So the main character, Haley Harper, she finds this book and she implements it into action and once she is in California she is amongst the most popular girls her very first day at school. So it definitely works to her advantage. However, once she's in their group for a few days, she realizes that she doesn't like being amongst the popular girls because she doesn't like the way they're treating other girls who, especially this one, who lives right across the street from her. She thinks she's incredibly cool, had the same taste in music, and she just, she can't stand having to ignore this girl just because the girls, the popular girls don't like her. So she dumps the popular girls goes to be with this other girl and then this girl brings her into her fold with the other girls who are hated by the popular girls and tormented by them and so after a while Haley realizes well why are we putting up with this we should not be putting up with this so she tells them about her her sister's book that she found and they start using it against the popular girls which is a very interesting premise I love that and I love the fast paced of this book however there were not many consequences for any of the characters in this book I mean they do some horrible things I really can't go into detail on all of them without spoiling the book for you but um the, there's but they just do these completely illegal and humiliating things they don't have any consequences whatsoever and it's just it's so frustrating uh, she doesn't have any fallout as far as being suspended or expelled by the school administration the school the other students they don't completely hate her for what she does not even her new boyfriend or her new friends who weren't uh, okay with the things that she did but they they wound up like forgiving her like at the snap of your fingers and it's just like really life is not like that high school is not like that I mean even the way that she apologizes to them is doing something so incredibly incredibly illegal and just she should have gotten severe con she should have been severely punished had some sort of really bad consequence befall her and yet she's rewarded not just with their forgiveness or almost forgiveness or whatever but with other stuff as well and it's just like I just I I could not um and then the other thing was that some serious issues were touched upon in this book 
but because it's first person point of view and it's Haley's point of view, this the serious stuff did not happen to her, it happened to other characters who were supposedly, one of whom was supposedly her friend, and yet it was barely, barely brought up. It was like mentioned once or twice and then completely forgotten about really. Um, one of the aspects was an attempted suicide, I will not tell you who that character was, how they attempted it, or anything like that. But it was brought up once, and then nothing really was said about it. Another one was drug abuse and addiction, and again, brought up like twice, maybe three times, and and then forgotten, and it was left at the, en at the very end practically, so there really wasn't time. But it just, it felt like it really should have been developed more. So I was disappointed in this book in a lot of ways. I did not, however, rate it lower than three stars because I felt like the quickness, the writing, it was solid enough for, for me. And if it hadn't been for the end, I probably would have really liked it if the ending could have been stronger and the main characters have um, been punished or had more consequences thrown at them but they weren't. Um, if you're looking for um, popular girls being taken down, sure, pick this up. Um, it, it is enjoyable, but if you're expecting, you know, things to go the way they would in real life as far as consequences and punishment and, you know, important subjects being brought to light, it really does not do that. But it is a light quick read. Um, also, do not open the back flap of this book and look at it before you read the book because you will spoil yourself really, really badly. And I will show you the front of the book just so you get an idea. Okay, see these nice illustrations? They're supposedly, basically, Haley's life. And she is a comic artist, so you know, you can guess that these were drawn by her, and so, you know, just how she sees the world. However, if you open the back flap, there are more drawings like this, but it will spoil the ending for you really, really badly. So, if you pick this up, only look at the inner flap of the book, not the back. Only look at the front inner flap. Do not look at the back inner flap. Just don't. Um, I guess that's really all I have to say about this book. You know, spoiler warning, don't open the back. Um, and light, quick read, not necessarily the best, but, you know, it's humorous enough. Um, oh, also one thing that I really did love was before each chapter there was a lyric from a song. Like this one is before chapter 8. And it says, it's times like these you learn to live again. Foo Fighters, times like these. And I also really love the design, how it keeps up with the whole comic motif. Um, you know, you can see that from the cover, from the inner flap. And then also the design here on this page with the dots and how they're greedy and the gradient of the dots. And then you've got the sort of POW symbol with the chapter number in the middle. That, so that really is all I have to say about this book. Um, if you've already read this book, or you're planning on reading this book, or you were thinking about it but now are not quite so sure, let me know in the comments below and I'd love to talk more about it with you. So that's really all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!